Welcome back, folks. We're heading into a new village, but first we need to decide what we want to get. And I am not entirely sure. Uh, so there is the kiln here with the three-star coal, bricks, and jerky, and the cornerstone, which sucks, in my opinion. Then we have the common hall, which gives us all of the different uh, services, but none of them for free. There is the trade route. We did. We ha we don't use trade routes that much, though. We probably should. Um. We produce pottery, mush soup, coal, and tea. That's not a bad building. It gives us four different things it can do. The stamping mill can give us flour, copper bars, and incense. Could be okay. And then there's two cornerstones. The people feel oddly rebellious. Gain plus one global resolve for every two impatience points. Or uh, gain a constant... Minus 5 to global resolve, but plus 15 to global resolves for 3 minutes every time a new blade is discovered, which I don't find that fantastic either. Maybe we should just save our stuff for, uh, for something better. We have Sothor, we have... Um... Those went to Amber. Uh, Amber is now worth 25% more to traders. That's kind of nice. The artisan can produce eight coats, barrels, and training gear. Two copper bars per minute. Not bad. And the smithy that can produce simple tools, barrels, and packs of luxury goods. Uh, scribe, three star manuscripts, offerings, and ale. And the temple where we can get education for free. Religion and Brotherhood. I would actually have thought that the religion would be free there and education would be paid for. But okay. Uh, meat production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. And the butcher that can produce jerky skewers and offerings. I kind of like things that cost 40 I mean, this one is okay. This one is actually quite okay. Let's let's take that. Let's take that. And let's find out where we're going. So we headed out this way because we what we need is food, really. Really is food. So why don't we go here, get 30 food, and head out toward foodstuffs. Let's do that. It's the Royal Woodlands again. It's hard, medium, average amount of soil. We have plus 10 to harvesting speed, and we have some stuff. Okay. Beavers are nice. We have another three embark points. We'll go with... Plus... Three lizard resolve for two seems really nice. And then meat. Sure. Because liverts seem to be a bit grumpy, grumpier than the others. Uh, so rich branches, barren lands, all caps production is increased by 100% when all buildings, first of all, have their yield 50%. Okay. During buzz, okay, gain 30 insects for each blade. This is just doing drizzle. This is doing drizzle. Okay, and loom darkness, no glades during uh, storm at ability one. Uh, okay, no sacrifices during hostility one. That seems cool. Uh, and at hostility 3, a unit has a plus 30% chance to perish every 45 seconds if we don't provide them complex food. Uh, that is for lizards. Okay. Seems the way it is. 
Uh, okay, so we have broccoli, we have mushrooms, and we have flax. Okay, so we're going for the camp route. Camp's route, yes. Gonna go for that glade and this glade to start off with. So woodcutters. Woodcutters. And path. Path. Like that. Make it like that. And we can do some shelters. Uh, one, two. Suppose three. Uh, path one needs to go there. Path needs to go there, so we don't want this one. Turn that down. Path, bang, bang, house, shelter, bang, bang. All right, bang, bang. You shut me down. Okay, let's go. Get a moving, folks. And food production, no camps. We want a, um, I suppose we want a scavenger's camp for this flax. And what can we get here? Trapper's camp, forager's camp, herbalist camp. So mushrooms, berries, herbs, vegetables, insects, grain. So we have Three of these, we have two of these. Hmm. This gains us insects, right? So, oh, let's take a look at our cornerstone first. That's pretty good. Five roots per minute is really good. Let's get the five roots per minute. Then we don't have to worry so much about food. But we do want to get a camp. And I think it's going to be... Herbless camp. Uh, and a forager's camp. And then. Don't know. We'll see. We might re roll that. Oh, we need to get our beavers in here. Beavers, beavers, beavers. That was a bit of a mistake on my part that I didn't get them in immediately. out this is the one yeah yeah ready let's get that going we have a single shelter up and running we have our orders so herbalist camp we actually already have 15 berries we haven't seen berries yet but I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, small farm and grain. I don't know. I, I don't want any of those because I don't want a small farm. I really don't want a small farm. Right, what are we building? Uh, let's see, we've got the foragers camp as well. That going. Almost through to this big glade. That's going to take a little bit longer. There we go. We have mushrooms, clay deposits, fertile soil, medium band cast. And fallen beaver traders. Fallen beaver traders. We need to do something about straight away. You out. Are you? What in there? What do we want out of this? I think I'm gonna send it to the citadel. Fifteen coats. I mean, fifteen coats is nice. 
plant fiber is nice but not gonna last long is it so oh and we have the scavengers camp you two in there we have the herbalist camp you can get a human in there um we're not through to that yet I think I want to open up a little bit more here. Something like that. We'll move you up here. All right, this one is going. So the beavers won't be so distraught. And are we almost through here? We are through here. We have some more clay deposits. That's about it. But this looks like something that has been built, right? So there might be a, some buildings that we can get in there. Oh, this looks built as well. And there you yeah. go. Well, we, we just built it, but yeah. You know what I mean? I know what I mean. Well, that's all good. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this. And get the workshop. And we do need the crew workstation. Right there. And we do need a stone cutter's camp. This will build down here and then we'll move it. Okie dokily. All right. Oh, and we shouldn't be opening glades outside of Drizzle because, yeah, we really shouldn't. We really shouldn't. We aren't building anything right now, so let's stick a uh, no, not a beaver. Let's take a couple of humans in here. Let's say 10, 10, 10. And we'll stick our beaver friend back in here. Hey. Why don't I have a herbalist camp? Didn't I get herbalist camp? I did, but I didn't build it. Okay. Fair enough. Now the stonecutter's camp is going to move out here, I think. So we want humans, ideally, as our settlers, because we, well, we need another human in here. We need a couple of humans for a herbalist camp. We also want lizards. There's a lot that we want. Three humans, I'm gonna take that. Um, five manuscripts per minute. Hmm. Two barrels every five planks. The manuscripts per minute is kinda interesting, but so are the barrels. We're gonna do the barrels. Well, I'm going to pick that for the humans, mainly. Uh, three glades. I'm going to pick that, though. The other one was easy, too. Eight humans, 55 human resolve. Oh, yes. And... Cut through to the forest to one dangerous glade. Or... Okay. I think we're going to do the jerky. Okay. Uh, we need a human in here. Then we need to build a herbalist camp here, I think. Uh, 
Um, we put a human in here, I suppose, to get a bit of that going. And now, I mean, now is the time to cut through to a glade if we want to. Do we want to, though, is the question. I don't think we do right now. Let's wait. Wait. Uh, let's move you down here so you can actually reach. Getting this opened up nicely. And let's get a path going up here. And then we can get a path going out this way as well. You guys are producing. It's good. All right, our scavengers camp is out of stuff to do. Is there anything else that you can do anywhere? I don't think there is, no. All right, let's put you out here for now. Take you two out. Put you in there. And then once the human is done, we'll take you out and put you there. Uh, are we out of... We are out of parts. Okay. Damn. All right. That was unexpected. So we need a trader, that's for sure. I don't want it out of here. Put down that tree. Oh. Drop it down. It's this one. This one up here, guys. All right, let's move you over here. We focus on that. Thank you. We move you down here and we can build our trading post. Okay. Now we do have. No, we don't have any tools. That's a shame. This is being opened up. A bit and. Off a bit of that. So we're in a bit of a pickle here because we need to get some of these orders going. Oh, we have a trader. Uh, we have 10 luxury items. So plus one to resolve for villagers with a home is really nice. And we're going to get that. And I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, not right now. We're not going to cut through to any clearing right now, obviously, because blade, because we want to do it during Grizzle. But what we could do is start working towards it. So which blade do we want to work towards? Was this one over here? Do it. I can't believe we're out of parts. Right. Well, it took off. Okay. I think you want that herbalist camp oven running. Almost out of those things. Up here. Alright, we're in Drizzle. So you 
can come up here and of course it's going to cause for us to be a little bit upset with us that we're cutting through to all these glades but it's gonna have to be what it's gonna have to be I don't see any more large glades that we can get to without having to go through something nasty uh, let's see 211 we'll take that and we will start putting some paths down let's see I'm not like let's build some houses shall we We build a house there, a house there, house there. Move you over here. I think. Put a path through. And then we'll put another human house there. Beaver house. Beaver house. Okay. Um, that's not bad. Five plant fiber per minute is, is really nice. So we'll take that. We have new orders. Solve any four dangerous glade events. Wow. Four. Five parts. Uh, full luxury. I think we're going to go with that. Four dangerous claims seem like a lot. This seems nice. But the ward isn't that great. Clothing plus 240, I think that's better. What would be really nice is to get happy. We don't have anything that we can do go on farm fields, so we're just gonna have to wait. Let's see. Our houses being built, our houses are being built. Good, good. Alright, we opened up to in here. There's some roots, but not a whole lot. And some fertile lands. Um, let's just open up this a little bit more. And here we have small encampment humans on I think we'll go with that so we can get an extra building and we will open up this more as well so that was a lot of um, a lot of um, things okay, the foragers camp doesn't have anything here doesn't have anything here it doesn't have anything down here so you can basically just hand those over oh there's something there though human move because I did not notice those broccoli patches all right what do we get the smokehouse is fantastic the provisioner can produce coats and flour. But I think we're going to go with the smokehouse. Stick it in. And it thankfully doesn't need any parts. You actually have homeless right now. Not happy about. Can we get rid of some homeless, please? Uh, are you producing anything here? Uh, we can build the workshop, so let's do that. And let's put a top priority on that. Uh, 
Got another human house, so that means we don't have any homeless right now. So that's good. You have a beaver who is out of job. So put the beaver in here and make them a little bit more happy. And there comes our workshop. And that means you can leave this and we can take human in here. And then once this beaver is done, we can stick the beaver in there. What we want is 30, 30, 30. I don't know why I've picked 30, but it's just what I picked. And I go with it in pretty much every game. I don't know why. What I do. And this means that we can pick you out. Now have you. Much better. Need those parts, man. Alright, humans. We can deliver this. That gives us a weaver, which gives us better fabric, which is kind of nice. And what do we get for this? Bakery? Eh. I kind of like the bakery. I Well, I really like the bakery, but... Eh. We don't have anything that gives us these complex foods. I think I'm going to go with... The Carry. Yeah. Apothecary it is. Oh, you're out of stuff to do. Move you. Because there is more stuff for you to do down here. Okay, I suppose. Yeah, that'll be fun. Scavengers camp. We found some roots, so we could actually get a... Dude in here. Oh no, that's the stone cutters. Okay, never mind. Pick you out. We have two people in the stone cutters. We do. Um, not doing that. Doing a hundred, oh, a hundred of that. Uh, we do have a jerky thing, yeah. So let's put a rush on this. gonna go two three we do have a lot of food but not complex food which is annoying Hillary gain two barrels for every five planks produced you know what we're gonna do that again so that's that times two I think we have yeah so that's four barrels for every five planks produced mm. I have a lot of resin this or plant fiber for every 10 vegetables nah. that would be kind of nice but I think I might save it I do I would like some planks though we get 10 planks How much resin does that cost Not bad actually 26 so take that I mean, we have tons and tons of food. Not good food, but food. And so, Hilda, you didn't have parts, did you? No. Of course you didn't. Why would you? Okay. Desert. 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 
And we have tons of those. Tons is a strong word, but we have them. And how many planks do we have at the moment? One. We have a lot of cloth, though. So I am actually thinking that we're in drizzle right now. I'm thinking that we go through to here. Try this again. Do this. That. Okay, three trees. Can you do that in the time that we have left in Drizzle? Make sure that they're walk working on the right trees. Okay. Come on, guys, you can do it. Why are you not making any... Turkey? Oh, no, there. Are you seriously not going to be able to do this in time? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Okay. Um, let's just move you over here. And up down some of that for now. Uh, you can move over here. You can drop down some of that. The foragers camp is out, but we have a lot of mushrooms up here. So that's kind of nice. Then we do need some lizard houses. There, there, going down there. We do need more beaver houses as well. Uh, we can actually build them down here. Housing beaver house. Fine. Hey. All right, lizards are super happy now. So they are giving us some passive gold. Great. Give us the next house or the next building, I hope. This would be wonderful. And there we go. And that gives us extra jerky production and 30 meat, which is fantastic. Hmm. I'm going to go for the cellar. And go right here. We need pottery for that. Can we make pottery anywhere? We can. And we'll set a limit of 30 pottery. Don't really need to make barrels. Let's make a limit of I'm good. Turn you off. Oh, ooh, can we use anything other than pottery for this? We can. We can use barrels. Fantastic. Okay, then uh, let's not pottery. It. I didn't turn it off on, so that's fine. All right, so next time we will dig our way into this huge uh, dangerous glade and uh, hopefully make some progress.
So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.